now at transformations of log functions. The transformations of log functions are the same as transformations of any function. If you have the graph of log x and you were to, let's say, add 3 to it, So here's a graph of log x, and right below it, I'm going to take the function log x and add 3. And as you'd expect, you see it move up vertically by 3. I'll add 2, add 1, add a half, so you can gradually see the change. So adding 3 to it will shift it vertically up. Or in general, the log of x plus c is a vertical shift up by 3. Now this has no effect on the range because log x has a range where x can be any real number. So it is still any real number. What if we want to shift it horizontally? As usual, we've got to add or subtract a number inside the brackets directly to the variable. Watch what happens when I subtract 2. Now notice this is inside the brackets, though not outside. So I've got the log of x, and I'm going to plot beside that the log of x minus 2. Now minus 2 is in the brackets, so we're finding the log of minus two, of x minus 2. We're not finding the log of x and then subtracting 2 afterwards. And see how that's shifted it 2 units over to the right? So if I go minus 1 or minus half or minus a quarter, you can see this sort of gradually. Or minus 3, it shifted 3 units over to the right. So log of x minus 2 shifts 2 units right. And it also has an effect on the, on the domain. The domain is now x is greater than 2. Because before our domain was x was greater than 0, by shifting the entire graph 2 units to the right, the domain is now x is greater than 2. Five log x will look just like log x, only be stretched vertically, so it's five times as, as steep. So again, here's log x, and now five times the log of x. So we see that here in green. And notice it is five times the height at every point, so for every x value, the y value is five times as high. So before where it was 0.7, it's now 3.4, which is 5 times 0.7. Or before where it was 1, it's now 5. And same thing happens on the other side. So before when you were down, we were down a half, we're now down 2.5, because that's 5 times as much. And again, I can lower that. This is twice as steep. Uh, if I make that a decimal, then it becomes, if I make that a 0.5, then notice now 0.5 log x is half the height of log x anywhere. So this is a vertical stretch. By a factor of 5, or whatever that number happens. Now what if I put a number here, so I've got the log of, say, 3x. This is going to be a horizontal compression. And I think I use the number 3. Okay, 
So this may appear to be a vertical stretch, but if you look really closely, you're going to see it is actually a horizontal compression. Everything is one third. So where that was six, we get to that height at one third of six, and one third of six is two. So here we're at the same height as we were here. And I can show you that by plotting the line y equals, it looks to me about 1. Point, point 0.77. Right. So we'll go y equals 0.777. There we go. Now, we get to that height when x is equal to 6 on log x, and we get to exactly the same height when x is equal to 2, which is 1 third of 6 on the log of 3x. So the log of 3x is a horizontal compression, and its width is 1 third. If I want a horizontal stretch, I'll use a fraction. So if I make this, instead of 3, if I make this 1 third, that now has a horizontal stretch, so everything is 3 times as wide. So now the point where it was a 1, so when x was 1, y was 0. Now when x is 3, y is 0. Everything is three times as wide when that's a fraction of a third. So whatever number here is a horizontal compression. We can put this all together. So let's say I've got 2 log 3x minus 2 plus 5. This will be shifted 5 up. This will be a one-third horizontal compression. This will be shifted two units right. And it's got a vertical stretch by a factor of two. Two log three x minus two plus five. This is five units higher, plus stretch vertically by a factor of two, two units to the right, uh, horizontally compressed by a factor of three. One thing to watch out for is what if we saw this form? Let's say we saw two log three x minus six plus five. Notice how this overlaps that perfectly. Why does this shift it two units to the right instead of six units to the right? You just have to factor this out. You see, you have to look at the number being directly subtracted from the variable x. And if you were to pull out three as your common factor, you would see that that is actually three x minus two. See, three x minus six, so I'm taking the log, log of 3x minus 6, and that is the same as taking the log of 3 times x minus 2. Pull that out as a common factor because the number that's being directly subtracted from the variable accounts for the horizontal shift.